Nikola Tesla was one of the few scientists that worked with standing columnar waves. His Tesla coil is an example of this wisdom. His technology preceded its time by many years. His AC theory gave rise to all the processes that ultimately gave us radio, television, x-rays, radar and all kinds of machinery that advanced this planet into the 20th century. His biographer John O'Neill suggests this scientist was unwittingly responsible for both world wars because he created the power system which made the combat possible. It is also his genius that tried to give mankind his freedom from the high cost of energy that continues to trouble us today. With Tesla's technology there would be no oil shortage in the world today and we could create a cleaner environment. Because he could use and control particle energy, Tesla stood in front of the US Congress in 1938 and asked for money so that he could build an anti-war machine. Tesla understood tachyon energy so well that he could take any solid object apart electromagnetically, particle by particle. It is understood that Tesla's anti-war machine would destroy at any time anything that was built or used to harm another person. If at any time anyone picked up anything, whether it be a knife, a bar, or a rock, or a gun, and if that person had animosity in his heart, or the desire to hurt or harm somebody else, that thing would no longer exist. It would automatically disintegrate. He presented this invention to the US Congress, and they said that they would finance this device only if they had complete control of such a machine. So Tesla realised he could control the destiny and freedom of mankind by influencing their minds from external sources. Tesla knew if he gave his knowledge to the control of the US Congress, they would take his knowledge for their own profit. They would not make an anti-war machine, but create a device that would be an ultimate war machine. Tesla arrived at a position in his life when he realised that anything anywhere that inhibits the freedom of mankind puts the person that could be the inhibitor in the position of being a god. He stopped his work because he was not ready to accept that responsibility. Tesla's great gift to mankind was the understanding of light in the form of particle energy. He took light apart frequency by frequency. He could magnify his pulsed output, his AC theory. He could put this knowledge into the laboratory situation and give mankind the technology of electricity that should be far in advance of today's technology. To understand his importance, there isn't an electrical motor running today that isn't using one of Tesla's patents. Tesla's book of essays on light and his AC theory gave the average person his knowledge but without making that person do the mathematical formulas necessary to understand his knowledge. Can we buy his books today? No. Can we take his technology and produce the cheap energy he so desired to give to mankind as a whole? No. Why? Because the knowledge of particle energy is beyond the realm of the five senses. As long as the average citizen of this planet cannot see, taste, hear, touch or smell this energy form, they can be made to believe that particle energy does not exist. On the other hand, with the benefits of particle energy, Mankind can begin to understand his own Christ itself. He could learn to step beyond the realms of the physical into the realms of the spiritual. The way we try to push mass around with brute force shows ignorance. If mankind could learn to excite or vibrate each atom at its resonating frequency and then try to move the mass, the cost of moving rockets to the moon and driving automobiles down the road would be a lot less. We might even consider how the ancient workmen could have moved 50 ton blocks and placed them at the top of a pyramid. 
The physicists of today have created a form of particle energy by splitting the atom at great speeds. There is really no need to build the great particle accelerators that the atomic scientists have constructed. They should turn their attention to the study of standing columnar waves as Tesla did. Modern day scientists have created a very destructive force by splitting the atom. This technology has given us the use of subatomic or particle energy in a very limited way and the waste material is very dangerous. On the other hand, the energy in the pyramid is refocused into a standing column of wave or a vortex. Pyramids are white light generators. Pyramid meaning light in the middle. The energy within the vortex is sped up to fo form a looser bond of the magnetic field that forms the structure of the atom. By weakening the magnetic fields that hold the structure of the atom together and vibrating each particle at a set frequency, the mass loses its effect of gravity and a usable form of particle energy is created. The pyramids were built with an understanding of this energy.